Hey everybody, what is going on, Terra Luna Classic holders? Uh, let's cut to the chase and speak some hard to swallow facts about Terra Luna Classic price right now. And first, I want to thank you for watching because I could be just trying to be a moon boy and telling you $1 or so, but I don't do that because the reality always beats anything that's fake. And when I see that we just had the largest burn, right? From Binance, LUNC, I'm like, wow, almost 9 billion. And it did just 10% pump. Obviously, there's a lot in the macro affecting all crypto, not only LUNC. But man, you do that, a big, such a big burn in other different cryptos per se, Shiba Inu, and you're going to see some fireworks. But what's going on here teaches a lot on are, are, whales, are whales really here? And I think, no, they're not here yet. They left Terra Luna Classic and they might come, but later. So anyone really saying $1, one cent or a 1,000, 10,000 pump is lying to you. Why? Because they just want clicks and that is the reality. I want to tell you to like how it is. Go ahead and smash the like button, everybody, and consider subscribing to the channel. Welcome aboard. Always good to discuss because that's what keeps us sane, right? That circle, it's the, the well, no, one of the last burns from by Binance, right? Uh, you know, really nice one that occurred. Six billion or so burn gone December. This one right now, let's go ahead and mark it. Gave us 10%. And this, guys... This massive drop was not created just targeting LUNC. If you are not aware, uh, it happened because of many different reasons. One, Silvergate Crypto Bank, of course, bank run and really messing with a lot of different things. And then Gary Gansler from the SEC saying um, crypto exchanges are bad and much more other news that brought the prices super down, creating a 200 or so plus million Bitcoin sell-off. So that it will pump, it will dump all the prices from crypto, no matter which one you are. But for us, this happened prior to this, and it's right here. It means everybody, to get to the point, we're not going to see any pump from Terra Luna Classic unless it's something else that burns. That's what it is. Um, the burn that we had, it's... It gives Binance way more than 50% of the total burn, more than over 40 billion burn now total. And I mean, Binance is in the 55, 60%, right? So if doing so does not carry the weight to create more volume, um, I believe the only thing that we have left is Coinbase listing, LUNC, another exchange listing, big one like Coinbase, LUNC, bringing more liquidity and hype. But other than that, guys, this is reality. We're not going to see any pumps from LUNC realistically and logically. Anything else that happens right now from today all the way to maybe summer 2023, it will be the recovery of the market and, you know, possibly heading higher to more zeros, three zeros, two or three. But it will be challenging to go through those resistances. So any proposal that you know, the entire community and the validators are proposing. It is what we're supposed to be doing. That is fantastic news, but it doesn't mean it's going to pump the, the price of LUNC. It doesn't mean that because this proposal passed, it all changes. It doesn't mean that because whatever thing uh, Terra Rebels is doing, it's going to pump it. The market is not here and we're just going to have to wait and wait until there's a turn in the complete market more bullish and we finally have some clarity in, at the macro. Other than that, that's it. Um, for, Sh for Shiva Inu, we're waiting on Shivarium. So they have one thing, the Shiva Inu community has one powerful thing that once it, it, it hits, there's probably gonna be some fireworks. If it doesn't, then there's gonna be more questions and a lot of people disappointed, but of course, long-term wins. Same with Terra Luna Classic. The only thing that Terra Luna Classic has, not counting validators and all the proposals, which are extremely important to keep the network going, are the burns, right? Other than that, I mean, the community is crazy, it's great, it's fantastic, it's awesome, but just every, most of them left because of the prices and that is it. Um, did I get it all? It is what it is, guys. Um, 
If you appreciate this one's realistic views, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notification bells. I appreciate you coming by and we're going to see consolidation. I don't really perceive, you know, three zeros, four or five or so. No, up until the bull market of 2024. At that point, we should be able to rise nicely because of all the work done today in the bear market. Catch you later, guys. That's all for now. Peace.